Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Online Plus lets you enter time tracking data for any employee or vendor in your company file. You can then use the time data to perform tasks like invoicing a customer for labor, providing hours worked on an employee's paycheck, or simply reporting the number of hours worked by a person. To enable time tracking, click the gear button and then click the Account and Settings link under the Your Company heading to open the Account and Settings page. Then click the Advanced tab at the left side of the window. Then click the Time Tracking section to the right to view the settings. There are four settings in this section. Checking the Add Service Field to Timesheets checkbox lets you specify services performed by people in timesheets. Checking the Make Single Time Activity Billable to Customer checkbox lets you assign a customer to bill for each activity in the timesheet. Checking the Show Billing Rate to Users Entering Time checkbox shows the rate you charge customers when users enter their timesheets. If you charge a different rate than you pay employees or contractors, you may want to leave this unchecked. The First Day of Work Week drop-down lets you choose which day is the start of your work week. When finished, click the Save button in this section to save your settings. Then click the Done button in the lower right corner of the window to close it. You can enter data into QuickBooks Online Plus using either the Weekly Timesheet window or the Single Time Activity window. If you want to enter time for multiple days, the Weekly Timesheet page is the best choice. If you want to enter a lot of detailed information about activities or want to enter time data as you finish an activity, use the Single Time Activity window instead. Whichever option you choose, don't use both forms to record the same time data as that duplicates the time entry. The windows are just two different ways to record the same time data. To print blank weekly timesheets to help manually record hours worked by employees or vendors on paper, which you can later transfer into QuickBooks Online Plus, click the Create button and then click the weekly timesheet link. You may need to click the Save and New button in the lower right corner to save any currently displayed timesheet and create a new blank timesheet. The default lines within the weekly timesheet page only show three lines for entry. You may want to click the Add Lines button at the bottom of the split line list to add a total of seven lines. Clicking the Add Lines button once adds four additional lines to the list. Then click the Print button in the upper right corner of the list window. A new window then opens and shows a printer-friendly blank weekly timesheet and also opens your web browser's print dialog box. You can then print the blank timesheet using the dialog box. When finished, close the timesheet print preview window. Employees and vendors can enter their name and the hours worked on the lines available, as well as which service was performed and for which customers. This lets you properly enter the information into QuickBooks Online Plus. You can also print the timesheet data after it has been entered to show all the data that has been entered. You can also create reports to see timesheet data, which is discussed in a later lesson. Because QuickBooks Online Plus is internet-based, you can also create unlimited time-tracking-only users for your employees and vendors to enter their own timesheets. They can enter their time worked from any internet-connected computer. The time-tracking-only users do not count against your user limit in QuickBooks Online Plus. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.